Alex here. Today we're going to go over the WGU IT management degree and this will be the 2025 version as I did go over this last year. So this new updated plan started on March 1st. It is basically the same degree only a minor couple minor changes. So I will go over this degree. I will go over my transfer spreadsheet which you guys can download at majormash.com for free on the WGU IT management page. If you want the updated one not the old one, you would click the little download arrow button and it will download to your computer. If you click the spreadsheet link that goes to a Google Docs page, it'll go to the old spreadsheet. Now that spreadsheet is still relevant, it'll still work, but the new one, if you want the new format, you'll have to click it, you'll have to click the download button. So you can download that on my website, majormash.com. If you've never seen any of my videos, guys, I go over how to get a college bachelor degree in six to 12 months. Yes, it's possible. So most of you have seen my channel, but there will be some new watchers as with every video. So you do this with ACE credits, American Council of Education. On platforms like study.com that have ACE credit certified college courses, you can basically do these courses in just days. Let's say you do a college history class in just a matter of three days. Yes, you can get three college credits in just a few days. And imagine doing this over and over and over to the point you have 90 college credits within six months. And then you gather all these college credits within five to six months, and then you transfer them into a partner university like Western Governors University. And then you only have to do 30 to 40 credits at that school. And then all of a sudden, boom, you can have a college bachelor degree within a year. So basically you can do six months at WGU and get a full-fledged bachelor degree after acquiring all the ACE credits. And I'm gonna show you how to do that. I'm gonna walk you through the spreadsheet. It is something I've done myself. I got a computer science degree in one year myself. So I did it at a different school, a different hackable school called TESU, but it's the very similar, very similar models. So I will show you guys how to do this. Let's get into this IT management degree. Let's get into this spreadsheet right now. Here we are in the spreadsheet guys. This is the WGU IT management degree and this is a fully updated spreadsheet. Everything is accurate, everything is updated and it's much better than my previous spreadsheet in my opinion. It comes with a full-fledged tracker. So before we dive into the courses, let me go over the tracker. Um, so you have not started, it's a little drop down. So you have not started in progress and past. So click past, click past, right? And that down here, if you click past up there, you'll see transfer credits completed six because you put past and past right here. It works the same thing in the WGU courses. If you click past, all of a sudden, so that was a one credit course. So all of a sudden you have transfer credits completed six, you have WGU credits completed one, and you have total credits completed seven. So it is a full fledged tracker, okay? So let's get these back to their original states and we'll go over the spreadsheet. So we are in the spreadsheet guys and there's a link to every class. So this was a requested feature for a long time and I decided to add it in. You just click and it'll take you to the study.com class or whatever class is linked right there. And then you have the WGU equivalent on this side. And you'll have the WGU courses and your uh, pathway progress right there. So you're gonna start, there's a lot of general education in this degree uh, compared to other tech degrees. This is technically a business degree slash tech. It's like a, it's more like 60% business, like maybe 30, 40% tech, but, and there's a lot of general education in this as well. So if you really want a full fledged tech degree, I would go with the information technology degree and not this IT management degree. Now this IT management degree is more so if you want to get a degree faster and cheaper. So the information technology degree has a lot of certs in it. And that degree is very hard to do in one term at WGU. This IT management degree, you can absolutely do this in one term um, for sure, like almost for sure. So you do this in one term, you save a bunch of money on college tuition, and then you add the certs on after. Where the information technology, it, uh, the information technology degree takes a long time because you're adding the certs uh, during the degree. So you're doing all these cert classes. And so the degree takes a little longer and then it becomes more expensive because you might be doing two terms. So with this one, you would add certs on after the degree and just get your college degree out of the way. So it depends how you want to do it. If you want to add the certs during the degree, go for the information technology degree. If you want to get a degree faster and cheaper, I usually recommend this one and then add like maybe two certs after. Also, 
Uh, for certs, there's plenty of certs you can choose from. There is entry engineer and there's an IT support certification that you can get, certified IT support. And you can get 20% off with promo code WGU if you go to entryengineer.com. There's also CompTIA with their A+, and Network+. There's plenty of good certifications out there that you can add on after this degree. So Entry Engineer, 20% off, promo code WGU if you want to do that. So here is the courses. Uh, so English, anything with writing is going to take about a week. So this course would probably take you about seven days because there is writing assignments in it. Communications, get that done in three or four days. History is like a two or three day class. Social Science 108 is probably the easiest class on here that gets rid of Introduction to Humanities. This is literally a one or two day course if you just spend all day on it. Like I'm saying, just don't do anything else. If you just spent all day doing the quizzes, you can get this done in like a day. Uh, just, but that would require you to, like, to not leave your computer. So Intro to Sociology, probably get that done in three days. This one has a writing assignment, so we're looking at five days. Principles of Statistics. So math courses on study do take a little while, so I'd, I'd imagine this will take seven or eight days. And then English 105 is the same thing as English 104. You'll have some writing assignments, so you're probably looking at a solid six to seven days. So Biology 102 based, and this, if you're asking me how, how many hours a day to meet these timelines, I would say at least five. So yes, I know some of you work full-time jobs and have kids. I understand that. But you know these videos are teaching you how to complete four years of college in one year. You know It's not, it's not a walk in the park. So five hours a day would be what I recommend. Um, <clears throat> so basic genetics, that's an easy two, three day class as well. Economics will probably take you six days. And then intro to business is a very, very, this is one of the easiest courses on study.com. You could probably fly by this one in one day or two days as well. So uh, principles of management, basically all these business courses are like three, four days at the most, if you really, really have the time. So math courses on study.com. So we got business stats here. Math courses on study do take a little while. You know, I'd say six or seven days on that as well. Accounting. So I highly suggest you get rid of this class because it is extremely difficult. Now, this requires two study.com courses, accounting 101 and 102. You have to do both. So you might think, oh, that's not worth it. I'll just do it at WGU. Trust me, it is really worth it. This is one of the hardest courses in this degree plan. So I would highly suggest doing Accounting 101 and 102 at Study, uh, which is very useful if you ever want to start a business as well. You know, very, very useful courses. And then that would transfer in and get rid of this class. So Financial Management, Finance 104. You could do Finance 101 as well to satisfy this course. But 104, trust me, I've done the research for you guys. 104 is a lot easier than 101. So just do 104. And that'll get rid of finance skills for manager, which is another tough class at WGU. International business is the first course I ever took at study.com. And it's, it's not that difficult. I wouldn't say it's that easy either, but it's not that difficult. So management at study.com will take you a little bit because it does have a really, actually a pretty difficult writing assignment. So that course will probably take you a solid week as well. It could even take you eight or nine days. It just depends how fast you are at writing. Remember, guys, these, these assignments are all open book. These quizzes are all open book. You can take them open book, okay? Um, open book means a lot of different things to a lot of different people, but they are open book, okay? The writing assignments as well. You know, you can you know, write with your own words, but open book. So it's one of the ways you can get all these courses done fast, okay? What I like to do on a lot of these courses ACE credit courses is I learn by practice tests. Okay. I don't like reading and reading and reading and reading and reading or watching videos. I don't like getting in tutorial. Uh, I don't want to curse on the video because then YouTube's not going to put it in the algorithm, but I don't like getting in tutorial H word. So, um, like if I say that word, then YouTube's going to be like, I'm not going to push this video to people. But, but anyways, you guys know what I'm talking about. Uh, tutorial four letter word, you don't want to get into that. I don't like getting into that. So what you want to do is, in my opinion, learn by doing practice tests, learn by doing quizzes, do them open book. That's one of the best ways that I personally learn, you know, do everything open book, quiz, practice test. And then you know, like you're basically like you're researching the information and you're learning as you're doing it. That's one of my favorite methods to learn. I like to have fun and learn, you know, whether it's like a trivia game or some kind of game or a open book quiz or practice test. That's like one of the ways I like to learn.
So we have uh, management information systems, which transfers in as information technology management essentials. This one is a upper elective class. So it'll take, once again, th this could take up to 10 days, but some people can get, get it done in three days, right? But I'm just going with the conservative, conservative estimates, guys, conservative. So organizational behavior, human resource management, easy, easy, two, three, two, three day courses. Employment law is a 300 level course. So you're probably looking at a solid five or six days. And then you get into the few of the tech courses in this degree. And both of these classes are very easy at study.com, in my opinion. Um, two of the easiest computer science courses, database fundamentals and introduction to networking. So if you're gonna work in IT guys, these are important. You need to know database stuff and you need to know networking stuff. Very important in the world of IT, very important in the world uh, IT support, extremely important. So if you're gonna work a help desk job, IT support job, or any kind of information technology job, you know, network administrator, um, database administrator, just any kind of IT job, you need to know this, this stuff. So, you know, learn these two classes, but these won't take you more than four days each. Uh, and then you have college algebra, which I, I have on straighter line here, but study.com actually just stopped doing proctoring. So that is a huge thing. If you guys didn't know that study.com no longer proctors. So you can actually just stay on study.com and do this algebra course at study.com. I still have it listed at straighter line. I do think it's slightly faster at straighter line, but you can just do it at study because now it's not proctored. So it's up to you. I'll leave it up to you. So before I would always recommend math on straighter line because it was faster and easier to pass. But now that study.com is no longer proctored, uh, you can just do everything there, to be honest with you. Um, so that I'll leave that uh, up to you guys, up to you. Now we go into the courses you'll do at WGU. So introduction to spreadsheets, everything, almost, almost everything I've learned for these spreadsheets, guys, uh, at least 70 to 80% was from this one credit spreadsheet class. You'll learn a lot. You'll learn how to put spreadsheets together, just like this one. Now I probably learned like, you're not going to learn like this drop down stuff and some other methods, but you will learn like how to total all this together, right? Like I showed you earlier where it adds everything together, uh, transfer credits completed, WGU credits completed, and then it, it uses both of these to create this one, this number. It'll teach you all of that, right? So it is a very useful class. It was actually like the most useful class I, I experienced at WGU. So these are two filler classes. These will take you by about like three days each if you're fast at writing. You can actually do emotional and cultural intelligence at study.com if you choose to. I just don't recommend it at study.com because it's faster at WGU. Like it's literally like a two or three day course at WGU. So it is one of those rare scenarios where the WGU version is actually easier and faster. So operations and supply chain management, for some reason you can't transfer this in, although you can transfer this in in the other business degrees. So I don't, I don't know why you can't transfer it in. But you can transfer this in. You can't transfer this in. Um, it's a pretty easy class at study.com, though, in my opinion. Change management is kind of difficult. I believe that is, I think that's a writing assignment. I do not remember. Value-based leadership, very easy course, very fast, very easy. Compensation and benefits. Uh, this is good for, like, human resource stuff. Um, if you're going to work in IT, I just really don't think you're going to use this course. And I don't know why it's in this degree. They should really replace this with another tech class. So and then you got information systems management, which is, a, which is a very useful course if you're going to work in the world of IT. Sorry, guys, there was one error in this video, which was I had accounting information systems in here and I've corrected it. It is workforce planning and recruiting. So I updated that and that is fixed. So I noticed that during recording and I just fixed it during the video. Now you have business of IT applications, which you can transfer in which, uh, with a certification. Uh, that certification you can find in my other spreadsheets and my other videos on what certification this is. And then you got your capstone. I believe you have a couple different capstones in this course, uh, in this degree, sorry. Uh, then you got business applications too and business simulation. Business simulation is a course that's only going to take you a few days if you hustle. It's like you pretend like you own this business, it's like a bicycle shop and you mess around with the numbers, you're trying to be profitable, etc. So it's kind of a fun course, but also it can be kind of stressful as well. So um, 
And there you go, guys. This is the spreadsheet. If you need 30% off your first three months to study.com, you can click this link and it will take you to the discount. Uh, basically, it'll take you to a little banner at the top and it says click this and then you'll click that. If the banner doesn't pop up, that probably means you're using a browser that doesn't have cookies enabled, which means you just click this link and then you would click create account after clicking this link. So, but 30% uh, off for your first three months, which saves you multiple hundreds of dollars. Um, this is a great degree. Uh, I highly recommend it if you just want to get a semi-tech degree fast. If you want to get like a semi-tech degree fast and then add the certs on yourself after, I highly recommend this one. I think the information technology degree is a better degree, but like I said, if you want to save time, save money, this is a fantastic degree. And then add like two entry level certs on afterwards or even just one entry level cert and then just apply for jobs like help desk or some other entry level IT roles. So there's lots of entry level certifications floating out there. Go to entryengineer.com, IT support certification, and that is 20% off if you do use the promo code WGU. So thank you guys for watching the video today. I'll have more updates and more spreadsheets coming. I will have more videos coming soon. Uh, so more WGU videos. I'm going to do more WGU computer science master's degree videos coming soon. And I'll have an update to the WGU regular information technology degree coming in the next few weeks as well. So I'll have that one fully updated. I've had a lot of requests for that one to be updated. So thank you guys so much for watching. This is Alex. Take care.